Good morning everybody, Charlie here with Red Summit RF. Today we are in Sedona and we are going to hike Capitol Butte. It's a peak that I've been wanting to do for a while. Have with me today Pat. Morning everybody. Uh, Charlie was nice enough to come up to Sedona and do a peak with me, so we're gonna go have an adventure. Yeah, this one I was a little leery of because it has some a little bit of technical stuff in it, but uh, Pat is a, I guess, former mountain climber or a mountain climber, whatever. Yeah. He's a he's a retired mountain climber. How about yeah. that? Yeah. So he knows his way around. Plus he's done it a four times. So um, I'm gonna rely on him a little bit. But uh, when we get on top, we'll talk. We'll first of all maybe take a look at his gear, how he th sets stuff up, and uh, what his equipment is. And then uh, I have the X5105 again. Uh, thank you, uh, Mike uh, K8MRD, for uh, len lending me this one. This one has the uh, firmware. Uh, the, the latest firmware on it, and there are some changes in my opinion about this radio because of that, so stay tuned for that. Well, we made it to the top. We're gonna set up here and do some Morse code now, but let's get over and take a look at Pat's stuff real quick and uh, <clears throat> see how he does it. He's got a pretty tall map. Yeah, it's uh, 30 feet, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right, so you got it. What, uh, what's your antenna? It's a... Uh... Car and fed trail friendly. Okay, where you get it from? Did you uh, just make it or is it uh, purchased? No, I bought it. I bought that one. I got it from Vibroplex. They sell them. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so uh, fed half wave, and then here's the box right here. And then you get it, yeah, it looks like you have a KX2. Uh huh. Cool. And you do paper logging? I do. I can't, I can't type fast enough on a phone. Nothing wrong with that. I've done paper logging for years. Cool. Okay, so you do. Uh, you want, you're gonna start on 20 then. Do you want to start? I don't have to. Nah. Start. Now you start. You sure? Yeah. What do you want to do? 20. I'm on uh, 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 17. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
right, everybody, we're... I wrapped up my uh, soda activation. Got a good number of contacts on on uh, 20 meters. Wanted to get up here on top of this high point and show you a panoramic view. The Red Rocks of Sedona. Check it out, Pat, down here. K7GUD, he's wrapping it up. But, uh, what a view, huh? All right, everybody, I'm wrapping it up on this summit. Again, it's Capitol Butte, outside of Sedona, Arizona. Came along with my friend Pat, K7GUD. And this was a very challenging summit, a lot of rock climbing. I am pretty sure, actually I'm certain, I wouldn't have been able to make it to the top without the assistance of Pat. He's a good uh, uh, rock climber and, and knew his way here. He's done this summit four times, so uh, I relied on him a lot. With me today was a Zygu X5105. Thank you again, Mike, K8MRD, for lending me this radio. It had the latest firmware, and I, am, uh, I, I want to adjust uh, something that I said earlier in an earlier video. You can catch that video right up here. In that video, I talk about my five mo things that I like the most and the five things I, I did like the, the least about the X5105. Uh, I really uh, harped, harped a lot on the uh, poor quality of the uh, um, here within the X5105, but I have to say that the software upgrade to the latest firmware took care of that and the keyer is in much better shape and actually usable uh, with the latest firmware so I'm adjusting my evaluation on that and giving it a, a thumbs up for that so uh, the only thing is, is is maybe the customer service could be a little better but uh, overall I'm saying I probably would now buy this radio all right I wanted to pop in here real quick just to show you uh, I had a previous video where I lined up my FT897 with the X5105 with the, not the latest firmware and I set up these uh, Morse code paddles and I actually interchanged them just to be fair and when I sent with the 897 everything was fine when I sent with the X5105 uh, it was not capturing all of the dits and daws well now with the latest firmware let me give you a shot at uh, what it looks like what it sounds like and over here All right, let me show you how it captures all the dits and daws, even if you if you send really fast with your uh, with your fist. Here we go. And then over here. So beautiful, works out great. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it up and head on back down the mountain. It's gonna be a, a long haul. It's a really steep coming up, so it's going to be uh, difficult going down with that steepness. But uh, thank you for joining. I hope you enjoy, and I uh, hope you'll come on back and, and catch us again on another activation. Bye-bye.